Today is Tuesday, and this is Eunoia, spoken by Ellsworth. Yesterday, I gave you lots of the details as you held your candle and walked through the garden maze with the flowers open, giving off their scent in the moonlight, and you made your way towards this house with a party going on inside. Today and for our remaining days exploring this party, you will practice filling in the details. Oh, sure, I'll give you the framework and what to expect. But you allow that imagination of yours to run wild. Is it the music that calls to you and pulls you deeper in? Is it your need to find me that does so? I'm sure as you glance around, you notice that most of the party goers are dressed in a similar fashion. Dark, muted tones. Can you see them? Some of the furniture, the occasional accessory, item set about, adds color. There's also bare flesh to be seen. Can you imagine? Who? How? How much? When you go in, where you would normally expect to see a grand chandelier showing off, twinkling, crystals throwing rainbows, instead, someone has decided to show off with rope work, knots, strands going this way and that way, cleverly done, holding, suspended, a willing, oh so willing, subject. And you know that this party is unlike any you've attended before. Do you envy the tight embrace of the ropes? The way it presses into their skin, binding arms to the sides in comfortable closeness? Beautiful marks that'll stay long after the ropes are taken away. Relax here a moment. We'll continue in deeper next time.